it is time, it is time to brew your best beer. Brought to you by Beer Grains Supply Company, BrewTubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selve, Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. All right, everyone. So here I am to do another 2014 SJ Port Challenge home beer review. And tonight I am doing this guy right here. DO021ES. This is an amber ale ranking in at 4.5%, 60 IBUs. And uh, interesting label, inspired by the mystical island of Esvedra at sunset. Um, amber ale brewed with uh, water, barley, wheat, and hops. So check that out. Nice. Let's go ahead, get it cracked open, get it in a glass. I'll tell you what I think. All right, let's go ahead, get the pour. Good carbonation. It's been sitting in my fridge about four degrees. Pulled it out about 15 minutes ago. And uh, bottle conditioned. I might have got just a little bit of dregs in there. But uh, otherwise, looking very nice. Some nice color in it. A little bit of condensation building up on the glass. But that's a nice looking beer. Nice head on it. Puffy up on the top. A little larger bubbles as it goes down. But uh, so far this beer looks awesome. So let's go ahead. See how it smells. Oh, nice smell. This is really nice. Nice citrus grapefruit notes. Definitely a nice hint of citrus. I mean, that initial hit was maybe level of intensity, 1 to 10. It was about a 4. So, you know, it's right around between a 3.5 and, and a 4. So, it's very nice. It's, it's mild, not overpowering. But it's very, very nice. Nice, fruity, citrusy. You know, just a hint of, like, tropical fruits as well. Um, it's very nice. Just a hint of malts in there. Just a hint. Just like a, a really hint of a malty breadiness. No yeast uh, notes whatsoever. But, uh, nah. It tastes very good. It smells very good. So let's go ahead and dive into this one and uh, see how it tastes. Give it a whirl. Cheers. Mm. Okay, so the maltiness is more present in the flavor than it is in the aroma. But it's a light maltiness. Um, it's very light. Body on this guy is probably a light medium. Body on this is light medium to medium um, it's got a really good mouthfeel good carbonation going in there got some lacing on the glass um, looking really nice uh, tasting really nice too it's got a somewhere between a thin and a medium texture I mean it's not thin but it, it's not quite medium either so light medium uh, texture You get a light hint of maltiness on the back, on the finish, and it's a uh, semi-dry. Just a hint of sweetness there. I mean, just a sliver, and then a nice dry finish. 
bitterness, there's level of intensity, it's probably about a one uh, on the finish. So it's a really nice amber ale. Um, a little bit less malty than I would expect. A uh, little bit less hoppy than what I would expect based on the aroma. But it's an easy drinking 4.5 amber ale. Getting some bready character. Um, touch of biscuit. Overall, I think this is a very nice beer. Um, there's no off flavors whatsoever. No off aromas whatsoever. Um, it's crisp. It's clean. A medium, light medium mouthfeel. A nice, slight bitterness bite. Uh, very slight on the finish and semi dry. So it's a very nice beer. Um, good job. Thank you very much. D-O-021-E-S. Cheers to you.